Hey everyone and welcome to another episode about the LEGO Train Automated Container Terminal. Maybe you've already seen the reel on my main channel. Um, I got the blue crane working again and um, it can transport the containers around the container yard. Not yet on the tracks that you see here but only on the container yard which works just fine. And I'm still wondering what these LEDs are that I installed uh, more than a year ago. It has to do with communication some, uh, somehow. So I'm following the wires to see where it all ends. And it's going to the controller of the blue crane, which is this small unit here. And the signal is also split it and goes by this wire beam all the way down and ends up in this main controller. Now this main controller is an issue. Um, this one here looks messier. <laughs> it's pretty messy, but um, yeah, it's, it's complete. There won't be any additional functions. So I'm gonna build it in, hide the wires, it works, leave it like that. But this one, it will be extended with uh, more functionalities. So yeah, there's just not enough space in this uh, building right now to to organize the wires in in a method that you said okay I can see where everything is going for example I was following this uh, green wire here it goes all the way down and then it ends up here somewhere and it's coming underneath here underneath the uh, field effect transistor it's coming in here but you can't see where it's going right now and it's cool, it's below the uh, controller, so you can't see it, but um, it's not very practical for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this building by four studs, making it a bit wider and making uh, a bit more room to actually hide the, or not hide, but actually manage the cables. Let's put it like that, in a way that I can actually see where everything is going and what everything is doing. For example, I thought, oh, this is the green wire that's coming from the top. No, this is the green wire that's coming from the signal over there. So <laughs> it's a bit uh, figuring out uh, where everything uh, is going. And right now I can't do that. And since I need to extend the functionality of this uh, microcontroller uh, a lot, there's going to be a lot of extra wires on this one. I'm going to make it a bit wider, a bit cleaner. So... Uh, that's what I'm going to do right now. And this is the new building. It's a bit larger than the previous one. And um, I did some cable management. As you can see, it's, uh, it's much better like this. And next to that, I have a header here for 5 volt connections. And I have a header here for 12 volt connections. And um, with that, uh, with the additional space that you see here, I have room for some extensions because there will be some uh, additional functionalities that will be also in this controller. So uh, yeah, ready to go. Add some lighting and uh, I built up the crane as well. Also the guard, uh, not the guard, the control room is, is back. Um, it looks a bit different than a previous version because I don't know exactly how it looked or how it was built. I just uh, Rebuilt it. It looks a bit different, but that's uh, that's fine. This part here is for controlling the uh, the switches of uh, of the monorail to a side track. That uh, I'm gonna leave like this for now. So first thing we're gonna do is make some monorails right to the crane and see if the crane can load and unload some containers. So all right, it's time for some action. Um, where? A bit of a milestone here, because this is the first time that we have a communication between the overall control and the control of the crane. And we need that because the monorails that you see there, that will uh, deliver the containers or bring them uh, away from the crane, are controlled by the overall control. So when the orange monorail is um, entering the station, the sensor here below will detect that the monorail is there, 
by this controller and then this controller needs to tell the crane that it needs to load the load monorail. And when the crane is done, it needs to tell that to the overall control again, like I'm done loading, you can send away the monorail. So by doing so, the motor will be sent away and, um, the, and the whole cycle is completed. Um, yeah, well, that, that's basically it, what, what, what we're going to test. So what we see here, I've put some containers already in place to be loaded on the monorail. Um, normally at a startup, it performs a scan to see where which mo uh, container is, how many containers on which place. I skip that out for time reasons so I just program the uh, the containers like they are here right now and uh, we're now going to see some action so we're gonna oh, it's already enabled so we need to couple the controller of the crane with the uh, powered up motor hub let's do it like that normally it is now connecting oh boy there's always something <sighs> All right, this doesn't work. I'll, um, I don't know, normally when you press this button, it connects automatically with the, with the Wi-Fi um, microcontroller of the crane to establish a uh, communication channel, but it doesn't work. <sighs> All right, I'll get back to you. All right, we are connected, as you can see on the green LED. The problem, I don't know for sure, but I found out, I have to still dig a bit deeper, I found out that when this microcontroller is booted, this microcontroller of the crane won't connect to the uh, powered up battery box. I don't know why. Um, beats me, because there's nothing between them, except some communication wiring, so maybe there's a problem there. So for now, I just uh, made a small delay on this controller and um, before that delay has expired, I need to press this button to connect this one to the controller of the crane and then it works fine. <laughs> it's really stupid and I, I, don't, I don't know why it does so, but we need to find out. I'm gonna find out uh, later on. For now, it's working. So the crane is online. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna send the orange monorail in and by doing so uh, it will arrive at the station it will be stopped and then the crane will start a loading procedure if everything works to plan of course so here we go here we go ah <laughs> that's something I still need to fix It toppled uh, that one over, so it's not coming right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> All right, I need some... Uh, I need to fix it. Let me just power off the whole thing before it destroys itself. What do we hear now? Oh, it's the monorail. All right. Um, yeah, um, it needs some fixes. That's for sure. I'm gonna see what happened exactly, and uh, let's see if I can fix it. So I did something wrong. I totally forgot about, and that is that, of course, the left row of containers cannot contain three containers on stacked on top of each other, because then it cannot pass moving a container. So if there's three containers here, this one cannot be moved in that direction. So, um, to make things complicated, you can say, well, okay, we can stack these two free high and this one not. So it will always have a derouting like that. Well, we could do that. <laughs> but um, I chose, not today, but rather a uh, time ago already, to make this row m a maximum of too high so you won't uh, encounter the problem. So what we're going to do now is uh, I put the container 
uh, three high on the other row so now everything would work like it should so um, I'm gonna enable the system and we're gonna see if it all works it's initializing now all right there's air in the compressor let's enable the thing And there we go, everything works like it should. Alright, well next episode, because this is now done, and um, of course we have this little mess over here that was used for uh, taking a monorail out of uh, operation and putting it into a, uh, a maintenance shed or something like that, fully automated. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use that again, that has to do with the amount of room we have right here. So uh, first I'm going to check out the red crane. And the red crane is going to be in the opposite direction than the blue crane. And uh, we're going to connect them together and uh, see if the red crane functions like it should. It hasn't been collapsed, it collapsed during the moving to the new house already. I don't know. Uh, one and a half years ago <laughs> so it's been sitting like this for one and a half year years so we're gonna have a look in the next episode to the uh, red crane see you if we can uh, make it work all right thank you for watching if you have any questions please let me know and uh, hope to see you next time bye